Ah, my dear dreamer friend, you know that fairy tale about having all the women at your feet without any effort? Well, if you think that's just a fantasy, I've got news for you. You're not that wrong. The truth is, it all depends on knowing how to play with their minds in a way you never imagined. Now, think with me. What if I told you there's a way to control any date and any relationship without needing the genetics of a movie star? Without needing money to afford fancy dinners or showing off a bodybuilder physique on Instagram? It sounds crazy, right? But if that got you interested, you're in the right place. The trick, my friend, is not wasting your time working out or begging for attention. It's being smart and sharpening your game. It's knowing exactly what to say, how to say it, and the right moment to step back, leaving her confused and wanting more. And I'll tell you, if you still think you need luck or looks to achieve this, maybe you just lack a bit of cunning. In this video, I'm going to spill the truth. I'll lay out the seven steps I use to make any woman crave my company. And when I say any woman, I mean any woman. I'll show you how to plant thoughts in her little head in such an intense way that she won't be able to get you out of her mind. All this without ever being the court jester, the poor guy begging for attention, or the desperate one drooling in the corner. It's not about turning into an evil genius or a Hollywood-level manipulator. It's simply about understanding how the female brain works and using that knowledge to your advantage. So, if you're ready to get out of that loser's mindset and change the game, let's get straight to the point, because I'm not here to sugarcoat things for you. Number one, stop acting like a blind man in a shootout and know what you want. Look, buddy, the first step here is very simple. Stop thinking that any woman who smiles at you is already the perfect woman. Seriously, that mindset will only keep you in a streak of bad luck, getting into relationships that are nothing but traps. Before jumping into the dating scene, define clearly what kind of woman you really want. Yes, exactly that. Because without a clear target, you'll keep getting lost, chasing every skirt that appears, and ending up in the same cycle as always. Disappointment after disappointment. If your answer is any woman will do, there's your biggest mistake. That's practically an invitation to attract all kinds of emotional messes. The kind that you'll end up complaining about to everyone, but that you sought out yourself. Is that what you want? No. Right? So, as the saying goes, those who try to please everyone end up displeasing themselves. Think with me. Even huge companies like Apple don't waste time trying to please everyone. They have their target audience and that's it. Some love it and some hate it. And guess what? They stay at the top because they know who they want to attract. The same applies to you, my friend. So, the question is, what's your type of woman? Do you want a girl who lives in the gym? One who spends the week praying and the weekend at church? Or are you more into the party girls who show up on Monday not knowing where they left their shoes? Be specific. And don't come up with that nonsense like, I like all kinds, because in practice, that will only make you collect heartbreaks. Blonde, brunette, redhead. Someone who's up for a night of Netflix, or one who's eager to go out every day. Defining this will make all the difference, because then you'll know where to spend your time and energy. And if you think it doesn't matter, then pay attention. Everything you share on social media already says a lot about you. If you only post photos in clubs, surrounded by drinks and drunk friends, don't expect to attract someone who enjoys a more balanced lifestyle, like yoga or meditation. Your photos, your stories, even the caption on that selfie in the mirror, all of it sends a message. And are you sending the right message? If the answer is no, then change the game. You know that saying, if you want to catch a fish, you need to know where to fish. Well, social media is your fishing rod, and the type of photos, the posts you make, are your bait. If you want to attract a focused and determined woman, show a lifestyle aligned with that. Share your readings, workouts, healthy hobbies. From now on, stop acting on impulse and start posting with intention. Ask yourself, 
Will this photo attract the type of woman I really want? If the answer is no, then restructure your strategy, because you're doing it wrong, my friend. Want changes? Start by changing the image you project. Number two, stop kissing her ass and project security. Buddy, let me tell you something that seems obvious, but many insist on ignoring. No woman will fall for your crap if you don't project security and confidence. Think, why would she give herself to a guy who looks more lost than a blind man in a shootout? If you think going straight and asking her if she wants to go somewhere more private will work, congratulations, you just won the Loneliness Prize. To begin with, it's no use knowing what type of woman you want to attract if, in practice, you act like a desperate kid. The bare minimum is to make her feel safe in your presence. And how do you do that? Ah, it's simple. Stop being as explicit as a roadside billboard. Coming in with that straightforward and clueless talk will just make her run away faster than a sprinter dodging rain. Create a bond first. Show that you're a minimally trustworthy guy, but without that over-the-top effort to impress, because the last thing she wants is someone who's trying too hard to please. Find common ground without sounding like you're investigating her life. Does she like to work out? Bring up the topic of workouts without seeming fanatical. Doesn't like clubs? Great. Say you also think it's a waste of time to stay up all night in a club. But for the love of everything holy, be natural. Don't turn the conversation into a theater of how perfect you are, because that's more cliched than a motivational Instagram quote. And here's a warning. Being too nice doesn't work, okay? That thing about giving gifts or complimenting her in every sentence sounds more desperate than charming. Want to show that you're a man with a good heart? It's not by talking. It's by doing. Be someone who cares for others. Actions speak louder than sugary words. Show that you care about your family, that you respect animals, that you have patience with children. And if you have a child, then stop hiding it as if it were a flaw. Know why? Because that shows responsibility and an emotional side that, believe me, many women respect. So, before going out there and applying any magic technique, focus on being someone who truly projects security and confidence. Because without that, it doesn't matter how many messages you send or how many pickup lines you rehearse in front of the mirror. She won't get past high to what's special about him and without security, buddy. No trick or line will save you from getting ghosted or the I'm not interested. Number three, stop being a trained poodle and be a real challenge. Let's clear something up here. Being too nice gets you nowhere. If you're the type of guy who's always available, agrees with everything, and is constantly kissing her ass, congratulations. You're digging your own grave in the eternal friend zone. Yep, the dreaded friend zone. Do you really think she'll be attracted if all you do is nod your head like a trained poodle? Of course not. She'll see you as a dull, predictable teddy bear, and soon you'll become the shoulder she cries on about the guys who really mess with her head. Sad, huh? So let's get this straight. You need to be a challenge. I'm not saying you should be a jerk or treat everyone like an ogre, but you need to learn how to provoke intelligently. Disagree, question, tease her. When she tells you she loves Harry Potter, for example, you can say, Really? You like it that much? I've never seen it. Is it really as good as they say? Bam. You just planted the seed of doubt. And now she'll try to convince you, justifying why the movie is great. In the process, guess who's now the center of attention? Yep, you. Being a challenge means showing that you're not available to her 24-7 like a fast food outlet. You have your own life, your own interests, and it's clear she's not your number one priority. And don't get me wrong, it doesn't mean ignoring her, but rather showing that she needs to invest if she wants your attention. Want another example? If she invites you out, you don't need to jump out of your seat and drop everything just to run to where she is. Calm down, buddy! The idea is to show that you're busy too, and that if you're going to meet, it's because both of you made an effort to make it happen. And more, stop agreeing with everything she says. Show your opinion. Don't be afraid to disagree with something she says, but always with humor and lightness. This way, she never knows how you'll react, and that sparks the curiosity missing in predictable guys. The key here is to keep the uncertainty. This messes with her mind because you break the mold of guys she easily discards. 
You become the puzzle she wants to solve. In the end, what do you gain from this? Her interest, of course. So, before you want to please all the time and be the goody two-shoes, learn to be a little more unpredictable, a little more questioning, and much more challenging. This will keep her intrigued and wanting to know more about you. If you're tired of being the idiot she uses as a doormat, who accepts every crumb and still gets kicked to the curb whenever she pleases, then wake up. It's time to stop swallowing disrespect and flip the script on this dirty game. Go to the description and grab the digital book I left for you. After reading it, you'll learn how to be a true challenge, to never bow your head again, and to put any woman in her place with no mercy. No more being stomped on and discarded like a useless rag. If you want respect, then start acting like a man who commands respect. The game changes now. It's time to take control of your life once and for all. Number 4. Mess with her head and use emotional anchors. Pay attention because now we're going into territory that, if you know how to use it right, will make a woman remember you even while she's asleep. If you think conquering is just sending messages and paying for a little dinner, you're very wrong. The real trick to making someone unable to forget you is creating emotional anchors. Translation Linking yourself to a feeling so strong that every time she encounters something you shared, your face will pop up in her head. I'll give you a simple example. Do you know that restaurant where you proposed to her? So every time she steps into that place, the proposal scene will flash back. That's an emotional anchor. See how it works? You're basically programming her mind to associate an object, place, or even a smell with the memory of you. And you can do this without wanting to get married, or without having a penny to afford the expensive restaurant. Choose something that has special meaning. It could be a chocolate you shared, a song you listened to together, or even a simple place you always meet. Create a memorable experience there. The idea is that every time she hears that song, sees that chocolate, or passes by that place, her mind will flash an alert. This reminds me of him. And bam, mission accomplished. You're in her head without even being there. But don't start creating anchors like crazy in random places, or it'll backfire and you'll end up looking like a needy guy trying to mark his territory. Use it wisely. If she likes a specific type of flower, the next time you're together, give her one, saying something that connects the flower to a feeling. That way, every time she sees that flower, she'll think of you. Easy, right? And more. Every time you feel like she's getting a little distant, Pull out one of those triggers. Send a photo of the place you visited together. Ask if she still likes that chocolate, or comment on the song that played that day. This will reignite the memory and make her relive the moment, bringing that feeling back. In the end, if you really want to stick in her mind, stop thinking it's just about words or looks. Create experiences that stick in her head like glue. That way, even if she wants to, she won't be able to get you out of her mind. It's like programming an emotional replay button that triggers every time one of those anchors appears. Number 5. Stop being the one who does everything and make her invest in you. Have you ever stopped to think why, even though you're spending your time, money and patience, you still end up being a second choice in her life? Let me explain. You're doing it all wrong. If you're the only one investing, whether it's driving her around, paying for every dinner, or responding to messages every five seconds, congratulations, you've just been promoted to. Official babysitter. And guess what? Babysitters don't inspire desire in anyone. The law of investment is clear. The more time and energy a person spends on something, the more value they give to it. It's the same logic that makes someone who spent a year restoring an old car love that clunker like it's a luxury sports car. Relationships are no different. If you do everything for her, the balance is completely off, and in the end, you feel drained and unappreciated. That's how it is. Now flip the game. If she really wants to be with you, then let her prove it. Don't run to her house every time she snaps her fingers. Want to see you? Let her come to you. Oh, she lives far away? Her problem! Tell her you can't go there today and that if she really wants to see you, she'll find a way. 
Make her take a bus, an Uber, or whatever. Every mile she travels to see you will work as an emotional investment. She's not going to throw away something that took effort. And one more thing. Stop being the one addicted to sending the last message. You know that habit of wanting to stretch the conversation to the last drop? Forget it. If you're always the one keeping the conversation going, she'll never feel like she has to chase after you. Try staying silent and see if she doesn't come back with a hey, long time no see, or some lame excuse just to start a chat. This shows that you're a challenge, that she has to work to keep you around. Want a classic situation? When she suggests an expensive place for dinner, how about asking to split the bill or choosing a simpler spot? This shows that you're not there to sponsor the show. And if she agrees, you already know she's willing to invest a little too. Remember, nothing is more attractive than someone who's not willing to hand themselves over on a silver platter. At the end of the day, the secret is making her feel like you're a prize to be won. When she realizes you won't bow your head and say amen to everything, she'll start to value every moment. She'll realize that to be with you, she needs to make an effort, needs to do her part. And when that happens, buddy, it's her who will start begging for a spot in your schedule, not the other way around. Number six, stop being a nobody and be the prize, not the beggar. We've reached the point where I'm going to give you the final blow, the one that will make you get out of this pathetic mentality of a beggar who does everything to please and start being the damn prize that she's going to chase after. It's time for you to wake up, dude. Are you ready? Then pay attention because this is not for amateurs. Do you know why you keep collecting failures with women? Because you act like an emotional rag. You humiliate yourself, bend over backwards, stretch yourself thin, and still think that's going to make you loved? Wake up! They don't want a doormat. They want a real man. What you're doing is throwing away your dignity in exchange for crumbs of attention. Stop acting like a desperate needy right now, begging to be noticed. It's tough to hear, right? But it's necessary. Want to know why? Because while you're there groveling, sending good morning texts to a girl who replies, thanks, after three days, there's a guy who barely said hi, and she's dying to know more about him. Do you get the gravity? The difference? A woman doesn't want someone clinging to her skirt. She wants the guy who's the center of attention, the guy she can't figure out, not the predictable guy drooling over her. The secret is simple. Make her see you as the prize. Stop running after her as if your life depended on it. Let her feel the taste of your absence. Stop replying at the speed of light when she sends a dry message. You're not a call center agent to be available 24-7, got it? If she wants to see you, let her show it. If she wants to be with you, let her make a move. If not, goodbye. Because you don't have time to waste on emotional scraps and games. And you know what's worse? The more you lower yourself, the more she loses respect for you. She already knows she has you wrapped around her finger. So why would she try? Why would she value you? She wouldn't, and that's why you're easily discarded. Replaced by the next guy who barely said hi and already has her full attention. So, if you really want to give her, and yourself, a reality check, start now by acting like you're the last man on earth. Let her see you as someone who doesn't accept less than what he deserves. Don't settle for the leftover time and attention she offers. Make her realize that if she wants you, she'll have to fight for her place. She's not making an effort? Who cares? There are millions of other women out there who would give anything to be with a guy who knows his worth. If she doesn't see it, her problem. Your role here is to show that, from now on, you're no longer the desperate guy, but the one who sets the rules of the game. So, swallow your tears, take this punch in the gut, and use it to wake up. Because now you're not going to beg for attention or plead for affection. Now you're going to make her beg for a spot in your life. And if she doesn't beg, next. That's what separates the man who deserves respect from the idiot who only collects failures. Got it? Go and make it happen. Because this is your chance to stop being the doormat of your love life and start being the master of the show.
Number seven, stop being her attention slave and turn the game to your favor. Lastly, buddy, here's the crown jewel. If I've already told you how to be a challenge and make her see you as a prize, now let's add the finishing touch to make her constantly think about you. Stop seeking her attention at every moment. She knows she's got you, and she won't lift a finger as long as you're clinging to her time. Turn the game to your favor. How? Stop doing everything on her schedule and start setting your own. If you're always the one to take the first step, if you're always the one who's available, what incentive does she have to do anything for you? Change that. Disappear for a couple of days. Stop being the first to start the conversation. Change the times you used to be available. Make her wonder what happened, why you're not there like before. And when you finally respond, don't do it with a desperate need, but as if you didn't care that much. This will make her work to get your attention back, and when that happens, you'll know you've turned the game in your favor. Because if she keeps seeing you as the predictable and always available guy, she won't bother changing anything. What's the result? It's her who will start looking for you, who will want to know what's going on. And when that happens, buddy, you've won.